So, Jordan, welcome to the Texas Engineering and Technology Network. Can I ask you to introduce yourself, please? Yeah, David, thanks for having me. Really excited to connect with fellow Texans. Um, I've been in Texas for a while, but my heart's always been a Longhorn fan. So even though when I've left, I've always been a Texas Longhorn fan forever. Um, I am currently, I've founded a company called Botnot, which focuses on human identity. So understanding who are bad actors. So bots, fraudsters, arbitragers, and also removing duplicate accounts for customers. One of the big things that we've seen is any what anything that's being done digitally is being skewed. So helping customers or businesses really understand how many unique clients they have and kind of reducing essentially duplicates so they can really focus on their actual clients and forecast appropriately. Okay, and that so Botnot is the is your prime company, and that's the focus of what you do. Exactly. Yep. Okay. All right. That's great. And um, one of the things we like to share in the network is what is your superpower that you could share with the members of the community? Yeah, I, I think my superpower it might be two, which I know might be a little cheating, but I think one of them is rapid prototyping. I love, love prototyping things really quickly. So, you know, even visually mocking stuff up in Figma or getting really nice shells and HTML, CSS, whatever we're working on. I like to throw things up really quickly. I come from a product background where I was an engineer, then product background. And so just like the ability to show things kind of brings the team together very quickly by just putting them together visually. Uh, it saved many, many opaque conversations. And then the second one is uh, fundraising and VC. I've gone through kind of the fundraising process as you know, part of BotNot. So any questions that people have around fundraising, what it's like to be a technical founder and trying to sell things, uh, which is always a complicated different switch, I'm, I'm happy to talk about any of them. Cool. Okay. A lot of crossover with what we're doing. So uh, in, in Kupros, we're, we're bringing uh, conduct filament to market for rapid prototyping of PCBs, which will be good. Oh, love it. Yeah, absolutely. Cool. There'll be some, probably some conversations down the road then. <laughs> Perfect. And uh, tell me, what is the, uh, within the network we like to give and take? So what can we give you? What support can we give you from this network? Uh, the biggest one is just bouncing ideas, um, just an entrepreneurial person. So I would love to connect with anyone that's in e-commerce and subscriptions specifically, but just as a whole, people to brainstorm, people to hopefully since we're all in Texas, may, you know, I'm sure there's a big Austin contingency. It would be nice to go grab a beer or something at some point, um, but really just just brainstorm ideas with. Yep, absolutely. And we're definitely uh, d doing some physical meetups is definitely on the development plan for the network. So uh, we're just trying to get, you know, we're trying to turn it from a group to a community. And then once we get to that point, we'll be uh, we'll be proposing some physical meetups. So that will be great. Oh, awesome. OK. And then the last question. What is the question you really wish that I had asked you? <laughs> I wish you asked me and everyone else, like, what is your spirit animal? I would love to see what everyone's responses would have been to what kind of animals do they think they are? It's, right. uh, it's always a fun. It's always a fun question. So, okay, so you've opened that door. What is your spirit animal? I think I'd go with a seal. You know, I love to be in the water. They're super playful. They're kind of like dogs. Um, and so I, I just think they're really playful. They're swimming. They're outside all the time. They're always in a good mood. So it's hard hard to dislike a seal. Okay, cool. All right. What about you? Well, I was just thinking with my diving background, my actual one of my passions is shark diving. So it would probably be inappropriate to say that I was a shark if you'd have just said you're a seal. That probably wouldn't be a good mix. <laughs> yeah, I'm on the food chain. I'm on the food chain. <laughs> yeah, no, we wouldn't do that. Okay. No, that's very interesting. So uh, maybe we'll add that to a question to the interview at a later date. That would be very interesting. Yeah. Okay. Well, Jordan, you, you rattle through that really quickly. So uh, is there anything else? You know, we've still got some time left. Is there anything else you really want to share with the group? Yeah, I mean, I think my my biggest question is is really for you. What was what was the motivation behind starting the group? I love like bringing the community together. So would love to hear the genesis of the group, how it started, some of the origin. Okay, so so I've been down here in Texas um, since 2017. Uh, I worked mm -hmm. in the corporate world. I've had my own business. So uh, I've actually got two businesses. I've got the consulting and the marketing agency, uh, and I'm also the COO of a manufacturing company. But as I connected with people in in LinkedIn, especially in Texas, a lot of startups, a lot of new tech, um, it seemed like a lot of people, especially after COVID, were isolated and just wanted to get together and become a community and share and you know get support. So that was really trying to bring trying to bring engineers. I'm an engineer. I've been a chartered engineer for thirty or 
almost 40 years now. So um, just trying to bring uh, engineers together so we can support each other and help uh, help people get established and grow in Texas. Oh, I love that. No, that's awesome. Cool. Well, let's see if we can get the network going. As I say, my 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 next goal is to is to improve us from a group into a community, and uh, yeah. I've got someone to help me with that. So hopefully, over the next few weeks and the next few months. We'll see a lot more interaction and we will will become a community, which is the goal for this group of people. That's awesome. No, I love it. Yeah. And, and appreciate you bringing us all together. It, it's always good to be part of a community. So I really appreciate it and, and love what you guys are doing. OK, George. Well, thanks for that. And I will get this posted up and please feel free to uh, use the video anywhere else you need to. Awesome. Well, thank you, David. I appreciate it. My pleasure. Thanks a lot. Bye.